Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chad from Grayscale Gorilla. And in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of our new neon material pack for Grayscale Gorilla Plus here in Arnold. So I've got a really cool model of a really detailed neon sign here that we're gonna light up and make look awesome. And if you're a Grayscale Gorilla Plus member, you're gonna get this letter set here, this set of letters and a couple symbols as a scene file. Plus members are gonna get access to that. Look for that soon. Check the comments for a link. All right, so let's jump in here. We've got our icon. We've got our Arnold, classic Arnold icon and some type. And let's go ahead and add some neon. So we're going to go over to our Grayscale Gorilla Plus library. And we're going to go all the way down to Neon Arnold. And you can see we have a nice little pack of neon materials here that are going to get you up and running with neon looks really, really quickly. So I've got the IPR session going. So let's go ahead and start dragging in some of these materials. So maybe we want a blue on our grayscale gorilla head, and maybe we want a white on the Arnold tubes, because I think the classic Arnold logo was white. Then I'm gonna put maybe a pink on uh, the first sign, and then maybe a orange on the second sign, and uh, let's try a green on the third sign, and maybe a purple on that last one. And then for all of the hearts, I'm going to use red. So let's double click this to add it to our material lister and right click that material and say apply. And there we go. We've got some neon going on. Yeah, they're super useful and they work really, really well. And they're very detailed. So if you zoom in here, you're going to notice that there's actually little bits of dirt on these using some Maxon noises to kind of just make it even look a little bit more interesting and real. So, all right, I'm going to give you an overview on how to adjust the intensity and the brightness of all of this. I'm also uh, just, you know, using a couple of post effects here. I've got a denoiser happening. I've got some lens effects, which is doing our glow, our bloom, and then a little bit of a color correct, but not too much going on there. So let's concentrate on maybe the green. So I'm just going to kind of zoom in over here to the green and let's look at that material and open up the shader network and see what's going on here. It's a very simple material, and the intensity is controlled via this range right here. The reason that it's controlled with a range with adjusting the output min and max is we are also introducing a little bit of imperfection to these. You can see here we've got a noise driving these because neon lights, they're not perfect. They're not completely uniform across the entire tube. There's difference, differences in the age, and maybe uh, I think it's even something to do with the gases. So this little uh, noise right here is driving this range so that we can kind of create a little less perfect or maybe a, a very perfect kind of light. So if we adjust the intensity of this output min to maybe zero, these two controls, the output min and max, are going to control how imperfect your light is. If you make these exactly the same, then your light is going to be, let's go ahead and take a look at that so that we can see it. Your light is going to be uniform across the board. If you bring that output min down, you're going to be introducing some slight variations to the brightness of this light. So let's go ahead and take a look at that when it's all the way through this multiply. So again, you're going to want to control the light intensity for the neon using your range min and max. So the higher they both go, if you want them to be like maybe 5 and 10, the brighter your light will be, and the darker you make them, like 0.5 and 1, the more dim your neon light will be. So I like to leave these maybe at around like 10 and 5. And if you want to make them look very sort of old, you can bring that, that output min down, kind of make it look like they're less perfect. That's probably a little bit too far. Like do something like this. And now they kind of have like that sort of aged neon look where they don't look completely perfect just kind of interesting. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the rest of these. Now, the rest of these sort of do a very similar thing. We've got a facing ratio, which is controlling the angle of incidence uh, versus the camera angle. And that's driving a ramp, which is then just allowing me to bring that into a color ramp, which is where I introduce the color. Then those that's driving the emission color and the base color. And of course, we already went over what's happening with the weight of the emission weight. So if we bring these down to, let's say, zero, you're going to notice, let me see if it's very visible, but if you notice in here, they still have a bit of that glassy 
And it's very, very dim. Let's actually make our red material quite bright so that you can see that a little bit better. So they actually have a, a kind of a nice glassy reflection. So when they're turned off, they kind of look like glass, which is exactly what you would want. And if we go back into that green and we adjust the range up to maybe 10 and 5, or maybe we want to actually bring it even, maybe make it very dim. It's kind of a nice effect because it gives you this nice realistic quality where you still see lights reflecting in the neon. Cool. All right, I'm going to make these a little bit brighter just so that we catch a little bit more of that glow that happens at the end there. All right, so yeah, this is looking pretty good. We've got our neon sign. I'm going to go ahead and like uh, maybe adjust some of the intensities on these other ones. Let's take our purple, for instance. I know the purple probably wants to be a little bit brighter. Something like that. Maybe even a little bit brighter still. Something like that. That's looking pretty good. And then our light pink, or actually it's just a neon pink. I'll grab our neon pink and kind of do the same thing. Make that like nine, six. Cool. And I think our neon white could maybe be a little bit brighter, so I'm going to make that a little bit brighter as well. And I'm not really vibing the white, so I'm going to come over here and maybe pick yellow instead. That's feeling pretty good. Yellow. You raise its max and min as well. Something a little bit brighter. Oops, that was wrong. There we go. Yeah, that's that's much better. Yeah, so now, uh, yeah, we got our nice, cool little neon sign. So these neon neon materials are really fun. They're very simple. Uh, but they're really effective, and if you set them up correctly, you can get a really believable neon sign look, and we can kind of make it look like we're looking up at it from the street. We kind of get underneath it with a really long lens. kind of has a cool effect. You can imagine these kind of blinking on and off, maybe with signal. Maybe I should do a video. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on that. Okay, so uh, that about wraps it up. That's all about uh, all I wanted to show on this. I hope you got something out of it. Hope you enjoy these new neon materials over in Grayscale Gorilla Plus. If you're not a member, consider joining. All the information is in the or in the uh, description below. I uh, hope you enjoy the video, and I will see you next time.